Teresa. Who knew my mother's secret? You have to stay calm, Ethan. Look, I'm calm. Just tell me. You have to realize that this is someone you love, who loves you, who always wants the best for you. This person, all they want is what's best for you. Okay. So someone who loves me knew my mother's secret. Someone who loves you very much. Look, you don't have to say any more. I don't want to hear it. I know exactly who you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Once you said it was someone who loves me, it wasn't hard to figure out who knew I was Sam Bennett's son and didn't tell me. Well, so much for love conquers all. If Ethan knows it's Teresa, they are never going to survive this. Yeah, tell me, Teresa. What sort of love would keep someone from telling me the most important fact of my life? Because the way I see it, that's not love at all. Try to understand, Ethan. You can keep a secret from someone you love because you don't want them to be hurt. Not in my book, you can't. When are people going to realize that things like this always come out in the end? I'm not saying that the news wouldn't have devastated me any way I heard it. But it would have gone down a lot easier if I would have had the chance to digest it before the rest of America at the supermarket checkout counter. I can't imagine how it feels. Well, then I'll tell you. It's ruined my life. Even that was never the intention. Intention? You know, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Or I guess in my case, with copies of this trash. Whether it was meant to hurt me or not, it has. Nothing could hurt me more than finding out that I'm not a crane. never going to believe that Teresa didn't send the email of him and Sam Bennett to the tabloids. Would you give the guy a break? He'd never believe that. As bad as things look right now, I still got faith that they'll be able to work things out if she just comes clean with it. Before you say anything else, please, let me just try to explain how... You don't have to. Oh, but you I don't do have to mean explain you... anything. You think the worst No, of... I don't. Look, I understand why your mother did what she did. What did you say? Teresa, I know why your mother didn't tell me I was Sam Bennett's son. I won't say I'm not disappointed. But she felt her first loyalty was to my mother. She didn't want to betray her confidence. Mama. That's who you meant, isn't it? She's the one who knew mother's secret beforehand and didn't tell me? Why are you looking at me like that, Teresa? Is there someone else who knew? Because if so, I have a right to know. Come on, Teresa. Just tell him. This is your chance. You wouldn't keep it from me, would you? I mean, you'd tell me if you knew who tipped off the newspaper about me not being Julian Crane's son? Ethan, I have no idea who did that, I swear. No, I didn't think so. I mean, if you knew something so important, you'd tell me. But before I was, I was talking with Chad, we were going to make a list of all the people who, who we might have thought had access to the letter except for Pilar and my mother. It doesn't work. Let me see if I can find something else to write with. Okay. Suppose you're right and someone besides Mama knew that Sam Bennett was your real father. Well, they had an obligation to come to me with what they knew. But just for the sake of argument. Let's say they considered telling you, but then they decided against it. That's even worse. 
Will you just hear me out? What if they kept it a secret, hoping and praying that it would never come out to hurt you or would hurt anyone else? This is one of the reasons why I love you so much. Your compassionate nature. You shouldn't waste it on the filth that did this to me. Look, even if the person was just careless and let an enemy of mine get a hold of the information, then they're just as guilty as if they went to the newspaper themselves. Because either way, they're both responsible for taking away from me the only identity I've ever known. I mean, might as well have shot me. No, I'm, look, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. And whether it was malicious or careless, somebody out there did something to me so terrible that I'm going to hate them for as long as I live. To be honest with you, I was raised never to hate anyone. But I hate whoever did this to me. I hate them with every fiber of my being. I never had to think about who hated me before. Wait a minute. You know, Chad, when we were talking earlier, I got the feeling you might know who I'm looking for. And do you, Chad? You know anybody who knew my mother's secret? <laughs>